Uh, well, the Cyber Guardian TCG, the Cyber Guardian is obviously a very long name, so we refer to it as TCG, started out really just um, trying to develop modern technology to deal with uh, the threats to children on the internet. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the early development actually started through being a father myself and seeing what had actually gone on in the internet space, what my sons were able to access that they weren't actually mature enough to access. So I set about trying to find technology or develop technology that could address that in a, in a kind of a modern way so that we weren't doing client-side downloads where you could put it on a computer in a home. It needed to be smarter. It needed to go on to tablets and smartphones. So that's where we really started, was to really try and develop something that could protect children or a technical tool. Obviously, education's important, but a technical tool that could actually help parents protect their kids. Well, I think, first of all, I, I really like the format. Um, I was involved last year, as you probably know, in Dubai as well, doing a child online protection workshop. And I kind of felt that we, we, we kind of missed, a, missed the audience a little bit. Um, everyone's busy. It's, a, it's such a wonderful event. There's lots of things to go to. So I think what ITU's done this year with um, creating a cyber security pavilion gives people a central point of contact, which they can go to once or they can go back to a number of times. And for me as a partner, it gives me a presence where I can have some people there that can answer questions at any time of the day, whereas the previous format was a kind of a, a for me in, in, in child online protection at least, was kind of a one event, um, whereas I think the cyber security pavilion will really fill a need, basically, for uh, for people to be able to come and get their questions answered when the time suits them. So that's the reason. Yeah, look, a really good question. Um, and of course, we could have we could have an hour or two hour conversation to get the answer to that one. Really, cybersecurity is a really big subject and child online protection is one section of that. So if we're concentrating on child online protection, my answer would be it's protecting children everywhere outside of the home, when they're on the school bus going to school, when they're at school, when they're at the mall, when they're at free Wi-Fi at McDonald's. There's no good having the home computer protected so that they're okay when they're in the home environment, but then they can access really inappropriate material when they're outside of the home, outside of the parents watching. Um, you know, a lot of people say about education that you put the computer in a central part of the home so that you can always check what your kids are doing. Well, you can't check what they're doing when they're out on their smartphone or their tablet. So I think that was the challenge. So it's coming up with a technological solution to be able to protect them everywhere they go, not just when they're at home. Well, we developed technology that sits at the ISP level. So rather than um, a household having to um, buy a software package which they download onto a particular computer in the home or two or three computers in the home that's protected, what we've done is that we've created technology that sits at ISP level and we can protect the whole home. But really importantly, what we do is we're able to identify the individual user in the home. So therefore, a parent can log on to the internet and not be filtered. They can go into the open internet and do whatever they want. But when we detect that it's a child, because they have their own personal log on, when they log on, and it doesn't matter what browser they use, and they can use any form, they could use a laptop, a computer, uh, their smartphone, it doesn't matter, we can detect who it is. And once they log on, once we know that it's a child, we can direct them into our healthy internet environment, which of course takes out all of the normal stuff that we wouldn't want our children to have. So TCG's point of difference is that we can put apps on their mobile devices so that even when they go outside of the home, they're protected. But more importantly, in the home, we don't have to filter the whole home. We can actually just protect the children and let the parents have total access to the internet um, so that's kind of the, really the difference and that's how we help. Okay, so at the pavilion I'm going to have um, a small team there, some of my developers and some of my marketing people. So we'll man the stand. Um, 
So people can actually come up to us and rather than just talk about what the possibilities are or what the problems are, we're going to be able to demonstrate live the difference, show the system working and show why the system is completely different. And I think the really key thing here, we talk about filtering to try and protect. What we want to do is not filter the parents, we only want to protect the children.